For the first styling video of 2024, I want to take it back to the 1960s and 70s as always and share some popular coat styles with you and how they were styled. Where I live, it is quite cold right now and I feel like that's the case for most people. So let's just dive into that. Let me tell you a little bit about the history of coats, which styles were popular in the 60s and 70s and give you some examples on how they were styled. Let's start with the staple of the decade, the wool coat. These kind of coats were so popular, they were popular in the 40s and 50s too. In the 50s, however, they had very much more of a fit kind of silhouette, more like also the dresses that were popular in the time. And the 1960s really saw them come back in an A-line shape. I have this one, bright colors were also really popular. And this one actually even has this kind of cellar fold in the back, which was really popular. Baby doll styles and a set A-line styles were popular, so everything that wasn't quite fitted. Another big trend of the decades were fur trims. They were seen on jacket collars, they were also often seen on the sleeves and that was just a very popular style coming from the 50s that was kind of brought into the 60s. Big buttons were in trend and really funky colors. So bright red definitely was a big trend. I love this coat. I thrifted it a couple of years ago and I remember getting this for I believe under 10 bucks because it was summer and so they just had it so discounted it is a little big on me but since that style was really popular in the 60s i don't mind it i love to wear this with white tights it's the classic 1960s mod kind of look younger girls wore it too you kind of had to adjust to freezing on your legs in that decade but i do really like that style so i went in with a checkered skirt this really nice white shirt that i have i love how this kind of is a bridge between a dressier shirt with buttons down but then it also kind of has like a t-shirt element to it i added a belt my white shoes are by mod shoes i honestly love them they are obviously not quite fitted if it is snowing but i felt like for a just colder day these would definitely do and then i also added a little fur headband to match the fur trimmings of the jacket Let's move on with fur coats. So fur coats definitely were a popular staple, also coming from the 50s. Um, they were definitely a necessity in the 50s because of the warmth. However, in the 60s, there were also some more like new materials, so they weren't really needed anymore. However, they were still very much on trend. I feel like fur coats really were also popular all throughout the 70s. In the 70s, it was more of like a longer coat, while in the 60s, shorter coats and jackets were popular. Let's start with this one. This is a very classic 1960s shape for a fur coat. It's a very big kind of shapeless style. These were really much popular. They also had that doll-like look that was so, so sought after in the 60s. What I love about this one and what was a big trend at the time are these kind of patterns. So it kind of looks like it has these shaved in little bows, which just makes it a little more interesting to look at. Also big sleeves were really popular. Even sleeves that were a tiny bit cropped like this one were definitely all the rage. So these kind of jackets were very much for the wealthy in the 1950s. And in the 1960s, they also really became popular with younger women. So what I love about this jacket is at first how warm it is. And then I feel like a jacket like this always transports you back in time. It is very distinct for that decade. So I styled this with a classic little 1960s look with a houndstooth skirt that is very much in a brown and like tan kind of color scheme, which really much I feel like works really well with this color. I also added a burnt, I also added a turtleneck in that color and then one of these little like head wraps that were so popular at the time. I personally love to wear them not only for warmth, but especially if it is raining. And then for shoes, I went with my all-time favorite brown boots. I love these. These are suede from the 60s and they're just so dreamy. Some white tights and the look was ready to go. In the 60s, another kind of fur coats became popular. And that was the fur jacket. Often a lot more cropped, yet they still had that very wide shape. So they were definitely stay still in that A-line doll-like shape. However, they were shorter. I feel like that was also popular because while pants for women were definitely existing before, in the 60s they really became popular amongst a wide variety of women. And so I feel like shorter jackets also were popular because of that. The look of a shorter jacket is often a nicer proportion when paired with pants. So I have this jacket. This is from my grandma. She got this custom made for her, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I'm glad that I kind of have her proportions and size. So I feel like this fits me really well as well. These jackets were often seen with this kind of 
pattern on it. It's a very classic look for the time. And most fur jackets didn't have buttons, but these kind of like snaps in the back that kind of like come through, close like this, and it kind of creates the illusion of not having a button at all. I love this jacket and I love to style this in two ways. I definitely like to wear it with pants, but I also love to do the absolute opposite and style this jacket with a very dressy look. So for this, I just went with my all-time favorite dress. It is a very classic baby doll dress that is from the time period as well. I added some red tights and some white shoes because I kind of wanted to show that these outfits also work if you don't live in like a very cold climate. So you can definitely wear this if it's just chilly where you live. One big thing that I want to say, my number one tip, if you want to dress in 1960s for the winter where it's just very cold, get yourself some fleece lined tights and just layer them underneath your 60s tights. That works really well for me. I also just wear a lot of woolen undergarments. You can definitely find them in thrift stores as well. And it's just what helps to keep me really warm throughout the colder days. Let's move on with some more 70s style. I feel like this coat is the epitome of late 60s going into the 70s fashion. The Penny Lane coat. These kind of coats, I feel like they're popular now under the name of Penny Lane because of the movie Almost Famous. However, back in the day, these were called Afghan coats. And this is a classic example for that. This one is actually from the late 60s. It has this really, really nice brocade kind of pattern fabric. I found this in a thrift store. It has the classic fur lining. However, these fur linings, especially in the 70s, a lot of them are fake fur like this one, which also really helps with that like Afghan kind of look. And what I really like about these kind of jackets is that they're a lot more fitted. I feel like while the 60s had these big oversized coats, the 70s kind of brought back a little more of a silhouette. So this kind of jacket reminds me of something Jim Morrison's girlfriend Pam Kirsten would have sold in her boutique in the 70s. Um, it also really, really reminds me of something Anita Pellenberg would have worn. It's just a little cooler than these like very girly 1960s coats. They were really doll-like, as said, while this one just is very cool with both pants and skirts. With this jacket and styling it, I really wanted to play with some materials. And so what I did was I brought out my all-time favorite mini skirt. This is a purple suede mini skirt. It's actually not suede, it's like a different kind of material, but it definitely has a very suede look. Three big buttons on the sides and it's just such a cool piece. Added some white tights to just keep it a little more classy on like the leg, just to keep it a little more simple on the legs, a white blouse, but then I really did it up with all the accessories. I have this dreamy leather choker that I got by my friend Jojo. It has like this really cool star and pattern on it. Because it really much has that purple color of the skirt, I feel like it just goes so well with the look. The choker also has some green detailing, so I added my green suede boots and I love this look. I feel like this is such a cool kind of groupy look. It definitely has that late 60s feeling. I love how it also incorporates the popular styles that were all of these colors in the 1960s and I do really love this look. It's a lot of fun to wear. I feel like another shape of coat that always goes and comes into style is the trench coat. The trench coat definitely was popular long before the 1960s and 70s. I feel like it was really popular in the 50s. During the 60s it kind of wasn't that popular for a little, but then in the 70s it came back in all different looks. It was popular with patterns, different materials, but I feel like the distinct 1970s trench coat was leather. And I have one right here. It is green leather. It has the most amazing 1970s collar. These incredible buttons. I thrifted this, I feel like in a video actually with you. I love it. It is so perfect in prime condition. The lining is absolutely dreamy. And it just also has the coolest little belt. The detailing on the pockets is absolutely to die for. I feel like this coat is so, so perfect. And what I really like about it is how it also really looks cool like a dress. Like if you close this, it actually really much looks like a dress and can be worn like this. So with this, I really wanted to go that really cool Anita Pellenberg traveling kind of route. I added a fur hat big oversized sunglasses, this dreamy black lace dress that I have, a white big buckle with a belt that I kind of wore a little more down on my hips, and a bunch of jewelry, a lot of rings. I feel like that's just really cool for that 1970s cool girl leather look. So last but not least, let's end this with a classic. 
I feel like these coats were so classic in the 60s and this was definitely the first vintage coat that I owned. I thrifted this in Brighton, I believe. Yeah, in Brighton and it must have been, I don't know, six, seven years ago. Definitely was so, so long ago. Before that, all of my vintage coats were just like vintage inspired. Well, this one is definitely a true vintage piece. And this is kind of the way that the trench coat silhouette was popular in the 60s. So it has that double button to look down the front, the sheep skin lining. When I tell you this coat is the warmest piece of clothing I own, I'm not kidding. It is so warm, so dreamy. It has some really cool details. It is definitely very warm because I just wear it a lot. I honestly wore this so many winters, pretty much every day. It is so nice, so warm, such a classic piece. And you can actually clean it really nicely. Like I recently got some stains on here, but I know that I can just brush them out. So I love this coat. And with this, I wanted to go a very, very classic 1960s route with just this dreamy light blue dress that also has some brown details, some brown boots, and a nice little light blue headband and earrings. I love this look and I feel like if you just get into the 60s, this kind of silhouette is great because it was also popular in the 70s. If you just get into the time period, I feel like either a fur coat or a sheepskin coat like this are just amazing for a bunch of different styles. This also has that kind of length where it looks really, really nice worn with pants and I honestly never regretted buying this. I remember getting it as said while on vacation and I had to bring it back and that was a bit of a hassle. I think I actually shipped it. So I think while there, I just put it in like a little box and shipped it back home to Berlin where I was living at the time. Uh, but it worked out really well. I think I waited a couple of weeks, but it arrived and I'm really, really happy with that purchase. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment down below telling me which of these looks was your favorite. Also, which kind of jacket style you like and what is your favorite jacket style of the 60s and 70s. I have so many more jackets. I have some ponchos, I have some shorter jackets, but this I feel like is a good variety for winter. Um, I also, but if you're interested, I could definitely do a video on jackets. Also one on leather jackets, for example. I just have a bunch of those as well. And if you wanna see me style all of these in different ways and just like style everything I own, I'm currently doing a little series where every day I style my wardrobe and the idea is that every day I have to style a new piece. So basically my idea is to wear everything I own for once this year. So yeah, if you wanna see that, make sure to subscribe. It's actually a short video going up every day. I hope you have a beautiful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine. Take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next video. Bye everybody.